Well, good afternoon. Oh, come on. I know you just ate. We can do a little better. Good afternoon. afternoon. Woohoo! I like that. Thank you very much. <laughs> well, welcome. And thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule. You guys had a fun session earlier. I was in there listening and um, I wish I could join you. So my name is Nafi Cunningham. I am with Empath Health and I'm super excited to come and share information about a brand new program that's gonna be launched this fall um, to help people in their own homes. So I'm gonna go through the presentation, tell you what PACE is all about. Um, who in here has heard of PACE before? No, not one? Yes, so this is the kind of audience that I want to just share this because there's a lot of people who do not know about PACE it, and it has been around for a long time. So as I go through the history and the information, you might not need it. You might say, well, that's not for me. And it's really not to recruit somebody right now, but we are trying to spread awareness and inform people about services that could be beneficial for their loved ones. It could be for your neighbor, um, somebody you're caring for. You could be a caregiver. You could be somebody who could benefit yourself. But this is informational. And so as you hear the information and want to learn more, I have business cards. You're welcome to come um, and contact me directly and come visit the facility as, as well as get just learning more on for your own or for people that you're caring for. So. Um, as I said, I'm with Empath Health, and Empath Health is um, a healthcare provider um, primarily in the state of Florida. And we stem all the way from uh, um, like Pasco County to the um, Lee County, providing all different kinds of services. So we are all about the mission of providing care for individuals at different phases of their healthcare needs. So our mission is to redefine healthcare as full life care. Comprehensively, how do we assist individuals as their healthcare needs changes and transitioning with them along the way. And unified in empathy, we serve our community through extraordinary full life care. And some of our core values include being eternally hopeful, lovingly truthful, courageously impactful and profoundly helpful confidently skillful. I have been with the organization for about eight years now, and one of our divisions is hospice, and I've worked for Tidewell initially and, and transitioned into this role recently to help launch this new program. So I'm out here just providing education and awareness in regards to what PACE is all about. So the full life care model involves helping individuals at different phases of their healthcare needs. So from the person who's uh, fine and doing well and thriving at home, we have um, mobile physicians in certain facilities. We also have like the uh, private duty services with empath personal care. We have home health services, we have hospice services, and we have now what we call pay services as, as well. And that's what I'm gonna be um, explaining what that's all about today. So as you can see, this is a little small on the screen here. It's not very big, but we're just showing you what all services Empath um, provides. And I've named some of them, the hospice services. We also have counseling services. If you don't, are not aware that Tidewell provides free grief counseling to anybody who needs it, regardless of your affiliation with Tidewell or hospice. So that is for anybody who suffered a loss in the community and they're having a little challenge dealing with that, we are here to help support them. We have children's services for children between the ages of five to 18 with our Blue Butterfly program. And we have adult services as well. So anybody who wants to do individual sessions with grief counseling, we have that available as well as grief um, with group sessions, whether you have, you know, um, part of the LGBTQ um, family, you lost your son, you lost your spouse, different people need different kind of grieving uh, counseling and you being part of a peer to peer can help you with your, um, because if you know somebody who's had a similar experience that's much more relatable than um, dealing with it on your own. So this is just to give you a quick overview. 
So what is SPACE? Um, it is an acronym that means Program for All Inclusive Care for the Elderly. And it is really focused on having, helping individuals navigate through healthcare. And instead of having to go through here, go through here, different services, it's gonna be all comprehensive. We, when you sign up under PACE, we become that wraparound service for you. So it's a one-stop shop and you don't have to be going to different services to get everything that you need. So we help redesign that healthcare model to make it much more manageable for people who are battling certain kind of illnesses or ailments, making it a whole lot simpler. It combines Medicare and Medicaid uh, services to make the, your services much more seamless. So it's to help streamline and take away the stress and the anxiety that comes with dealing with the healthcare system. It can be very challenging, it can be confusing, there's a lot of information out there, and why not have that support that will assist you to understand what services you're qualified for, what you can get, and how um, our company can help you in this case. So who does PACE help? You have to be 55 years and older in order to qualify for PACE. And you have to live in the, in our, for our company, it's going to be in the Manatee and Sarasota County area. So residents who live in Manatee County, Sarasota County, who are 55 years and older and are starting to have some sort of health decline, could be cognitive, physical, um, medical decline, and they're needing a little bit more support in the home. So this is going to be a lot of in-home services. I'll go through all of the different services we can offer you, but it is about helping you have a better quality of life, both medically, emotionally, spiritually, everything that uh, all your social services are part of this as well. So it's really a medical and social services um, to provide uh, the comprehensive care that you need at home or within our facilities. There are various ways that you can receive help. So as I said earlier, it's for Manatee County residents and Sarasota County residents. Now. Under our big company, Empath, we have three PACE programs. And we have one in Pinellas County that has been functioning there for about 20 years. So we have track record of operating such a business for a long time. And we recently opened our new center um, in Hillsborough County that's called Empath Life. Life is similar to living independently for the elderly. The Empath Life One just opened in April, excuse me, in January, and that is operating within the Hillsborough County area. And then my program is gonna be called Stratum Life, and that's gonna be operating here in Sarasota in Manatee County. Now, just to give you a little um, rundown, PACE started in the 1970s. I know a lot of people don't know about this service, but it has been around for a long time. And the ultimate goal is really helping people age in place. You don't have to worry about going to a facility, helping people get healthier, not going in and out of the hospital consistently and going doing unnecessary testing. So how do we help the families as well as the, the um, part participant or patient really live a better life with the support of our staff that I'll go over in a minute. So the base, um, benefit model really consists of several comprehensive people. That's what we call our interdisciplinary team. And that team consists of your uh, physicians or nurse practitioners. We have um, RN case managers, your nurses, social workers, transportation coordinators, um, dietitians, personal care attendants, or your CNAs, that's an, another way of calling them. We do um, occupational therapy, speech therapy, physical therapies, um, recreational activities as well. And we also have an adult day center. And so your activity manager for that or your center manager is gonna be available to assist you throughout your journey. So we are very far reaching. It's not like, oh, you only contact us when you need us. We touch base because that team needs to be able to stay on top of providing the care that you need and giving you the information to make your life a little bit better. So you have that team consistently staying in touch with you. And as your needs change, we adjust your individualized care plan as well. So this team 
really focusing on each individual and we meet regularly to be able to say, hey, what can we do for this person? What's changing for this person? Do we need to make some adjustments? Do they need to see more specialists? Or wh what are some of the changes that we can make to make their life a little bit easier? Do I have questions so far? No? Mm -hmm. You come to the house. Yes. In other words, you don't provide transportation to anybody. You come to each individual. We have both. We have, yes, so I, we have um, in-home services and we have a facility and that's, yeah. So there is both options. So transportation is gonna be included to and from all of your medical appointments um, going when you sign up under PACE. So we can come to you or we can bring you to your specialist. Let's say you, see that you need to see your neurologist, we'll come pick you up and go take you to the neurologist. You see your doctor and we'll take you back home. If you wanna use the daycare facility, we'll come pick you up, take you to the daycare, you spend a day, half a day, few hours, however many you want, and we will take you back home. Um, should you need to go see the dentist, the eye doctor, the podiatrist, whatever it is that you need to see, go get some labs tests, we help coordinate all of that and make sure that transportation is cared for as well. I all of the equipment <laughs> yes so it depends on the individual's need like i said with this team that i just went over yeah. we have um individualized care plan. So whatever your needs are, if you're needing to come into the facility, because um, the facility will have OT room, PT room and everything with all the equipment. But we also have uh, people who choose to have the OT and PT, depending on the extensiveness of the care that they need. Yes, if it can be done at home and they choose to have it done at home, then we will send the therapist to go to their home. If it's something that's better suited to be done in the facility, we will send to transportation. Sometimes we will send, if you wanna come with your caregiver, you can come with your caregiver. If you don't have a caregiver to escort you, we will have a, a CNA ready to come and pick you up with the transportation, come do your session and take you back home. You're welcome. All right. Any other questions before I move on? No. So, so yeah, it is. Uh, so PACE is a Medicare, Medicaid funded program. You wonder, okay. And once you sign up, Medicare will give us a stipend. And the objective, like I said earlier, is to help you age in place and reduce hospitalization and more medical bills. So they'll say, here is an amount of money, depending on the level of care that you need, take care of Jane Doe. So Jane Doe becomes now our responsibility to make sure that she's taken care of and all of her medical needs will fall under us. So your doctors do not bill Medicare and Medicaid anymore. They bill us. We pay your doctors. We pay for all of your care going forward. So in essence, we kind of become your insurance provider as well as your care provider. If you go, if the per participants goes to the hospital, we pay for that bill, whether it's for a day, a month, whatever, we are responsible for you, for you going forward. So we try, because of that, we wanna minimize this hospital stay. So we're gonna be on top of making sure that you have your nutritional needs, your medication, you're not missing your doctor's appointments. And if the doctor needs to come to you, then the doctor will come to you. So it really is truly designed to help those individuals have that better quality of life and get the, the appropriate care that they need to have a better life. And so those are some of the things. So Medicare um, helps us through that. It's a Medicaid. So if you have Medicaid, it's, yes, ma'am? No. Oh. I was shaking my head. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> So if you have dual, if you're dually enrolled, then it's that's the easiest. If you don't have 
Medicare, but you have Medicaid, then we can still, um, you don't have any co-pays to pay with that. If you have Medicare and not Medicaid, we have a Medicaid specialist to help you see if you can qualify for Medicaid as well. And sometimes we'll, we'll pair her up with elder law attorneys to help you with that qualifications. If you only have Medicare and Medicaid um, and you're not qualified to apply for Medicaid, then there is a, like a, a fee structure that we'll have to um, present to you. And if you're still interested, then we can proceed with just the Medicare as well. And some people will choose to do private pay, but it's a little hefty with the private pay. So the benefits of having PACE, you're like, well, why would I want to have such a service? But I think um, this is really how healthcare should be. Um, as individuals get out there, try to figure out what's going on, what kind of coverage do they have, what kind of uh, services can they receive, it can be really stressful. So the adult day center is one component of that. So as a PACE participant, you choose to come in, it's voluntarily, and you can come to the daycare should you choose to come to the get daycare. It's located in Bradenton right now, and we might eventually have a um, Sarasota location down the line. But initially, when we open this fall, the initial um, daycare will be in um, Bradenton. However, even if you live in Sarasota, we will come pick you up and take you to the daycare. You spend your day, and we'll come back and bring you home. Lunch and breakfast will be included in that as well. Yes. Where in is it? Right close to Amenity Memorial. Oh, okay. Yes. So, but the thing is, CMS does not allow us to have a participant in the truck or in the in the van for longer than an hour. So we have, you know, we have to have somebody who's within an hour of of that ride. So. So that's for the daycare facility, but that's, that's, again, only one component. Transportation to and from all medical appointments is included, so you don't have to worry about rides. If you have a, um, a spouse that's working, if you have a, a child who's caring for you who's working, you no longer have to worry about them taking time off or being stressful to come pick you up and take you. So it really does not only help that individual, it also helps support the family as well. You have somebody who's working, you know, you don't have to worry about, well, is my mom safe or is my dad safe or is my spouse, spouse safe being at home? We have the daycare center that they can come and help support them. Um, we, medical assistance, medical care will be all included. Anything you need for your medical care, we will help support you in that as well. Um, emotional and social support. We have social workers that will be assigned to you and you will have that interaction and um, in helping you with whatever your social needs are and emotional needs as well. Um, behavioral health will be included. Anything that you, that you need that's really about enhancing your quality of life, we make sure that you receive those kind of care. Um, In-home delivered meals for that participant as well. They don't have to, they might be living alone, they might be living with somebody, and they might need a special diet. We have dietitians who can help making sure that they're getting the nutrition that they need. So we can have meals delivered as well. So no worry about going to the grocery store, cooking and cleaning and all of that stuff. We will deliver the meals that you need, uh, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, if that's what you choose. If you just need breakfast, if you just need lunch, just dinner, whatever it is, we will make sure that you have home delivered meals as well. So we're working with different providers to do those uh, services. Uh, dental care, medical equipment that you might need within your home. We will even um, come install and do home modifications and do grab bars, ramps, and things like that should that be, become necessary. So those slight modifications will also be part of the, the care that you'll get to make sure all about safety. You know, when we come and do the assessment, we assess your home. How safe is your home? Do we make some recommendations for you to remove certain furniture or certain uh, rugs and things like that that could um, uh, make you fall? So that's all part of the care that you're receiving when you sign up under this PACE program as well. Um, we can help with personal care. You need somebody to come help you shower at home, get you ready for the day, um, get your medication all lined up. We can also assist with that, okay? So those are all kind of um, care you'll get. Respite care is important. 
Do you need a break from caregiving? Do you need to go to a wedding? Do you need to go on vacation, but you're worried about your the person that you're caring for? We will make sure that that individual is put into a place where they are safe, they are provided all the care that they need while we give that caregiver a respite. Because caregiver respite is essential for those people caring for somebody long-term. So we'll provide all of those things as you, um, you know, as that person has their medical needs changing. Uh, we'll do labs and x-rays and uh, medication management as well. So any other medication that you're, any medication you're taking, we'll make sure that you're getting that medication management in your home as well. And so all of that stress, oh, do I need to go to the pharmacy, drive there, come back, all of that will deliver it as scheduled so you never miss a beat. Again, the ultimate objective is how do we help you age in place safely and take, out, take away as much burden for you so you can just um, focus on your quality of life. So again, the one-stop shop model, how do we do that? The goal is to keep participants in their home environment while avoiding placement in the nursing homes or in uh, avoiding hospitalization, frequent hospitalization. So with the team being close in close contact, the family's part of that individualized care plan. We communicate with the families as things changes for the better or for the worse, we make sure that we're adjusting based on your need. What is the right thing to do for that patient? Um, if in fact that participant decides, you know, continues to decline as they're aging, because usually they're in our services for a long time. And as you know, people get older and the ailments um, advance, and now they're no longer safe to be in their own home, what happens then? We, we will contract, we are contracting with several assisted living facilities. And what, what happens in that situation is if you need to go to an actual assisted living facility because you're no longer safe to be at home, you need more care than we can provide in the home setting, then we will place you in a, we'll give you a choice of places you can go, but your social security, just like normally um, it would do, your social security would go towards that minus a few for um, an amount for incidentals, and then we'll pay for the difference. So just to give you an example, if your social security is $1,000 and um, the facility is $3,000, they'll take part of that social security money and we pay the difference. So you will have a good place to stay. That's part of the program. And we are responsible for whatever that difference is. So really, it's a great program that can really help people who don't have that financial um, means to be in those kind of facilities and have the care that they can receive. Any questions for me so far? Okay. So like I said, we have the center. We are doing tours. If you're ever interested to come take a look at what that center looks like, it includes the daycare. Um, we also have the, um, an actual clinic. So there are two sides to it. One side is a clinic with six exam rooms, x-ray, we can do x-rays, we can do lab. We'll have um, occupational therapy, speech therapies, um, and physical therapy there. We have an actual physician that is going to be on site as well. Um, we have computer area, the kitchen area, computer areas to help individuals who might need not to navigate through their application with uh, or with Medicaid also recertifications with Medicaid as well. So that's part of the, the program. It's really how, how do we help you make sure you get everything you need. You're not missing a beat. Um, the, the kitchen will be you have warm meals while you're in the facility. So the breakfast and the lunch will be mostly warm meals. We'll have activities. We have an activity director to help you with activities just keep you informed and you have that social life as well. The isolation can be really very difficult for the older population. So especially after COVID, we've seen the benefits and how important it is to have people have that social aspect. So this model being around for all these years that people just didn't know about it, we want to bring that model to this area and make sure that residents of Sarasota Manatee County are getting this benefit as well. There's also quiet room because the, big, the room is big like this space, 
And sometimes people don't want to be bothered. It's like, I just need a little bit of downtime. And we have quiet rooms with recliners that people can go and sit down and read or listen to soft music. Um, we also have the arts and craft areas. Uh, and we have the big room as well. So if you're interested, like I said, please let me know. I have my business card. I'm more than happy to schedule uh, tours for you to come by and take a look at the facility and see if that's something that could benefit your, yourself or your loved ones. And this is my contact information. If you're interested to learn more, um, my name is Nafi Cunningham, and like I said, Empath Health has been in the area for a long time. We are a very big company with just different focus on helping people with their healthcare needs. So if you have questions about PACE and how we can help you, come see me. Any questions? No? Yes, I've been super quiet. I can't believe that. What? Yes. So if yes, if, if you let's say somebody had um, a fall and illness and they needed therapy sessions and they've been in a, in a inpatient facility, it's going to take now the enrollment process does take a few weeks, uh, about eight weeks to be precise. So it's not an immediate, um, this is not a quick solution. This is more somebody who, who's been declining and is needing more, more service, and we can go help that individual for long term. Um, so short term would be while that person might be in a in service rehab, we can start the process then. And because the first step is you, we share this information, you're aware of it, you come and say, I'm interested to learn more. We send a nurse to come do an evaluation. If you're interested in signing up, you fill out the paperwork, and that paperwork is sent to the Department of Elder Affairs. The Department of Elder Affairs is going to determine your level of care. because So they will also send a nurse to come do an evaluation, and that's how we make that determination of the level of care you will receive. And that's how also it's made the determination of how much money they're going to um, pay us on a monthly basis. That, so, and then we start the, you know, assessment of, okay, do you need grab bars? What else do you need? The safety measures and all of that stuff while we wait for that final approval. And then the, the actual program will start the very first day of that following month once you're approved. So that's why it could take up to, up to eight weeks. Mm hmm Any other question? No? Well, you guys were easy. I can, yes. Not right now, not such program for younger people. Yeah, unfortunately, with the minimum, that's beyond our control. We are, this is very tightly um, monitored by CMS um, because it's Medicare and Medicaid, so, and they're the one funding us. So they, the, the minimum age is 55, unfortunately. Now, you don't have to be an elderly person or you could be disabled. Um, but there are people who are very high functioning who are part of the program. Um, some people have, you know, the Parkinson's and the dementias and everything, all a wide range of services, a range of illnesses that we cover. But it's, it's again, to really enhance people's quality of, it's not about being terminal like hospice is. This is just about something that you're struggling, ALS, all, anything that, that's really hindering you from having a better quality of life and how do we improve that? Yeah, so I'm sorry. Yeah. Yes. How do you get, okay, so we have a Medicaid specialist um, that will be able to sit with uh, people um, who are interested in, in qualifying. There is an income qualification um, depending on whether you're married or uh, single. Uh, how much money do you have a month? How much money do you have in your savings account? I, I'm pretty sure that your home's value is not determined in that. And so when I say if you have Medicare and not Medicaid, um, 
they can sit down with you and help with an elder law attorney figure out whether there's ways for you to qualify because there are ways for you to have like a trust or move money around to be able to qualify for that. So those determinations, that's out of my pay grade. <laughs> uh, so you definitely would need to talk to a Medicaid specialist and see where those, those um, guidelines are. Yeah, any other questions? But if you have Medicare, Medicaid, I, it's worth looking into. If you have something that's long-term, um, it's definitely, all of your medication will be covered. You don't have any co-pays at that point. It, and then you have one cent point of contact that really helps navigate all of your medical needs going forward. So we contract with all different kinds of providers or different kinds of facilities. We contract with the um, hospitals so that when you go to the hospital, then the hospital bills us. When you go to a, um, you know, any of your specialists, they will bill us. You go to the eye doctor, you go to the dentist, all of that, they'll bill us and then we pay for that. So you don't have to worry about anything else. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so with, with the plan of care, when you come into our plan of care, we assume responsibility for all. So if that's the, a medication that she needs, then she's going to get it. Mm -hmm. Any other questions? I know it's really helpful if you are at all just like, hmm, I'm not sure, and you have an hour, come see me at my facility. When you come to see the actual place, it really gives you a clearer understanding of what this could do for you and your families. Because people are like, oh, I'm not so sure. It's not very common. Like I said, most of you didn't know about PACE. But once you come and see it, you'll see the benefit. Now, um, Hope PACE has been functioning also for many years. They're covering Lee County and Charlotte County. So this has been in the area, just not in Manatee and Sarasota. So we're very happy to be bringing such services to our residents. Mm -hmm. Any other questions? Insurance. I Well, there's different ways they do things, but none of that makes any difference. No, so as far as I know, um, the funding come primarily from Medicare and Medicaid. There's no private insurance such as um, United or Edna, all of that stuff that will fund this income care. No, there's no private insurance. Besides Medicare and Medicaid, is no. Mm -mm. Yeah. So it's like a, just a, like a state funded. Yes. 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 So if you already have, let's say, a supplemental plan right now. And you're like, well, I don't know if I qualify. That's why we have the Medicaid specialist to help you figure out whether or not this is something that you could qualify for. So we have the support staff to help individuals figure this out. We're not letting you figure it out on your own. You see? Yeah. And we have computers in our facility also to help individuals. You can come to us. We'll sit down with you, we'll have a private moment with you and go over all of that with you. So, and so currently we are not yet open. Um, the Tampa one is open, the St. Pete one is open, but the Sarasota Manatee one was anticipated to be open in the fall. So around October, November, just so you know. But the facility itself is ready to go. If you ever wanna check it out, just give me a call and I'll be happy to show you. All right, keep that in mind. You might not need it today, but down the line, should you hear somebody who does, a neighbor, what have you, let me know.
Yeah. So that's, uh, I have some brochures back there from our Tampa location, but I have my business card that I'll hand to you. So you have my number to call me, but that's just um, because we're not yet open. We don't have the brochures yet. So I just wanted to share. So right now I'm sharing the information to just educate anybody who wants to learn about such a service. Yeah, look, that sounds wonderful. Like, wow. Yeah. It's, I, I truly believe it. I'm not just saying it because I work for the company, but I truly believe this is really how healthcare should be because we make sure that these individuals are truly cared for. So it's not going to be like thousands of people. Initially, we're only going to have 150 patients. Okay. And so then the state will take a look at it and say, okay, you're taking care of these patients well, our sensors, everything is going good, then they'll increase it. Example, um, in Pinellas, it was at 450 patients, and they just increased it another, another 100. So the aging population is increasing, the need for such a service is increasing, and the government does see that. And this is really much more economical for the government too, because once they pay us our monthly stipend, then it doesn't matter. Like we take the brunt of whatever medical expenses we incur for you. So they just want to, okay, here, take care of this person and their hands off. So, but it's a wonderful program. It, it really is. And I, I, my organization is a non-for-profit organization and we are here to be committed to making sure that the community get the care that they deserve. So that's why I work here. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it is. Any other questions? Well, I hope to see you all at my center as you come and tour and check it out. Thank you very much. Thank you. Appreciate you.